We out here once again, giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rukar And we're going to go right into the scriptures. And I'll write, but when y'all setting up the cameras, uh, the Daniel the 7th chapter came to mind. Let's go to, <laughs> let's go to Daniel the 7th chapter. And um, we can start from, uh, let's start from the 7th verse. Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. That's it. That's it. We're going to go on to prophecy. That's all we're all about. And, we're gonna, and then we're going to, Lord willing, hold on death, uh, uh, Jeremiah 50. And I was listening to that in the car. I mean, I know it, but then when you listen to it, <laughs> there's no way you can say it's ancient Babylon, man. Right. You know? No, sir. So let's, so let's go. Let's go. All right, so this is uh, Daniel 7, verse Turbo 7. Turbo Jets. Sit. It says, After this I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly. And that's the Roman Empire. And that's something that the so-called white man doesn't understand. They can never, somebody get me Daniel 12 and 10. As a matter of fact, start at 9. First nine. nine. Yeah, go ahead. And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall be wickedly. Right. Read, read that in nine verse again. And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. What words are closed and sealed? The book. That's why Martin Luther couldn't break it down. That's why uh, uh, this guy... Uh, Malcolm X. Well, I'm, I'm talking about them Edomites uh, back there. Uh, oh, Rex. Uh, Rex. Uh, what's his name? Rex uh, Humbard. No, no, I'm talking about way back. I'm talking about Martin Luther. I'm talking about Calvin. Oh, 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 oh. None of them guys can break this the book down. They were reading They were reading out of the book. Constantine Con couldn't break it down. Oh, Constantine couldn't break it down, even though he was an Israelite. Yeah. Um, huh? Oh, way back. Yeah, he couldn't break it down. No? Uh, um, what was that guy in the 95 Oh, pieces? oh! Um, the, the, um, uh, John, John, on the, the, the on the island of, uh, Patmos, John the Revelator, as they call it, he couldn't break the book down. Mm. Somebody yeah. go to, um, this was given to us. Yeah. Even King James. Oh, King, King James couldn't break it down. Couldn't break but it down. he was the one that ordered, made the order to, to preserve it, man. Yeah. All right? So give me, give me, give me St. John, I mean, give me Revelation 5, and you can start at the very top. William Tinsdale. Well, William Tinsdale. All they, all they did, the prop, all the prophets did was receive, was a see, uh, saw visions, and they wrote it, they scribed it, they wrote it down. Yeah. Okay? That's right. And they couldn't break it down. They, they didn't understand it. That's why Daniel got sick, because he couldn't understand it. Here we are, we understand it right now. And then, so we're back to do what? Are we come? Are we are we here to write more books? No, we here to break down the books that were already written, which was given to the prophets. Go ahead. Where we at? Revelations five and one. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within, and, and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel. What is a seal? In the ancient world. When you would get a letter, they would write the letter, they would fold it, and they would take candle wax, and they would take their signet, and they would make the candle wax hot, and they would put the candle wax down, and they, and they, would, they would bound it. Right. So you knew this seal was broken, right. because that, that it was candle, open. it was opened up. Yeah. So you knew if you got that, that that, 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 that secret is concealed. Right. Or that letter is concealed. Yep. All right? Yeah. So what does the number seven mean? Seven means completion of a uh, fullness, right? Yeah. So the book was sealed with seven seals, meaning it was completely sealed. So you couldn't break this down. Martin Luther couldn't break this down. Constantine couldn't break this down. Even the prophets of old couldn't break this down. Yeah, the only ones that could break, break, break this down was the one that gave it to us, the, the prophets, which is the Lord. So the fact that we know the breakdown of these scriptures is because the Lord opened up our eyes, man. It was the wicked had to be built up, Esau. Of course. His kingdom had to be, if it was open, If it was open, open, then we would see. Oh, that's you know, the Edomite. Oh, that's the devil. That's right? the devil. Get him. Get him. You know? yeah. Kill him. Get him. Yeah. Yes. You know? Yeah. It's just like they use that statement about Hitler. If you knew Hitler, uh, if you knew Hitler was a baby and you knew he was going to do all the things that he <laughs> did, uh, would you kill him? So a lot of them say, yeah, I would kill that little baby. So it's the same thing with Esau, man. Yep. You know? Wait a minute, that's an Edomite. 
the, book, the book is open. It said kill them motherfuckers, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Get that devil. Get that devil. Go ahead. Now we're I'm now sorry. We're, you go, give me, go ahead. Bring now it we're in the time of him being revealed. Now we're in the time Just of being like revealed. And, and that's, why he's, that's why he's scrambling, man. Now he's, yeah. he's scrambling. Because he knows that, that he's going down. Oh, Revelation 12 and 12. Go ahead. Uh, this, this, is, uh, yeah, yeah. this is 1 John 2, verse 20. Hell yeah. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye, and ye know all things. Oh, give me uh, Malachi, what is that, 3 and 16? 3 and 15? Yeah. Oh, and somebody also give me uh, St. John. Uh, uh, 14, I believe that's around about the 26th verse when it speaks about the comforter. I got something real quick. Go ahead. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but the holy men of the Most High. Who are the holy men of the Most High? The prophet. prophet. The prophets. So who is the most important man on the earth today? The prophets. The, mo the prophets, yep. But holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's it on that, right? That's it, Con. Go ahead, read it on that. This is Malachi chapter 3, verse 16. Then they that fear the Lord Yahweh spake often one to another. Where you been, man? We ain't seen you in a while, brother. Yo, 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 bro, keep driving into the city, man. Oh, hey, good work, bro. Checked out the camp in Newark, bro. Okay, cool, cool. Huh? That's good. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Come this way, verse 16. Car drive like that. Take care. Then they that fear the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh spake often one to another. Are we doing that? Are we doing that? Speaking off the one to another? Yeah. We put out these video epistles. Yeah. We're constantly, oh, uh, what's that? Romans uh, 15 and 5? 15 and 4? Get that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, um, wherefore comfort one another with these words. That's it. What's that? First Thessalonians? So we're speaking one to another. That's it. That's it. And it's a comfort, you know? That's it. Because you, What's that one in um, Isaiah? Um, uh, uh, 40, Isaiah 40 and 1? No, no, I think it's 51 and 12 or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. We'll come for the yeah, 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 yeah. And that was my man that gave us that scripture. Uh, Shock you. Con, con. You got, you got that? Yeah. Uh, go hold that on deck. Okay. Hold that on deck. Con. Yeah, because it's, you know, it's, it's reassuring. You know, because sometimes, you know, you know. Guys get weak. That's it. So the strong guys yep. got to keep pushing this thing to keep, to keep them up. To I'm keep getting, them I'm, up, I'm, man. I'm getting, I'm getting heated up now. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. And you're supposed to be on fire, man. Con. Go ahead. This is Romans 15, verse 5. It says, Now the most high of patience and kindness. Now, you know what? You, you got to be passionate about this thing. Con. Yeah. Now, there's a commercial with Flo, but Flo is playing a sister, and a sister buys a house. Then, the, then she goes in the house, and she's on this exercise bike. I don't know if you saw that commercial. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. And she's driving on. Yeah, yeah. And then she said, you're, you're, you're upset my exercise. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm blasting out my thighs. Yeah, right. And then she said, uh, she said, uh, cycling is my passion. Yeah, right. be a, your passion. So you, then, you, yeah, you, yeah, exactly, yeah. man. Hey, so you got to be on fire about yeah, this yeah. thing, man. Yeah, she kept saying, Janice, look, Janice. Yep, 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 yep. Chewing yep. that gum. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. She, she wasn't even looking. Yep, yep. She wasn't passionate about no, talking no. about cycling is my passion, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got guys like that. Yeah. That, 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 that. Dry eyes, clear eyes. Yeah, yeah. Brown eyes, dark eyes. Yeah, yeah. Man, you got to be on fire with this thing, man. Yeah, then they wonder why they ain't getting no results. Right? Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and well, they wonder why they fall out. Because you wasn't passionate about this thing, man. All right? I've been in this thing for over 30, 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. And I'm still passionate about this, man. I, I love doing this, man. Yeah. You know? First love. And I'll be working. I'll be driving. I'll be saying, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do a video on that. Yeah, yeah. You know? And you can't wait to get home so you can do a video. Yep. You know? Right. Go ahead. Right. This is our... And it's just, either it's in you or it's not in you. It's not. Yeah. This is Romans. Romans 15, verse 5. It 
says, Now the Heavenly Father of patience and consolation grants you to be like-minded one toward another according to Yahweh Shai. Did you read the fourth verse? Uh, I read it says, verse four it says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were, were written for our learning, that the patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. That the patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Anybody got a, a St. John four, uh, 14? Nope. This is John 14 and 20, I'm going to start at verse 25. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you, but the Comforter, which hmm. is the Holy Spirit. Hey, so now you had this guy, Tazadakia, teach the congregation that he was a God sent Comforter, that the Spirit came to him and said, you are the Comforter. Now, if you were into the Scriptures, if you was into the scriptures, you would know that the comfort is not, not a man. <laughs> because give me that scripture in Isaiah. Can I ask 51. 51 and 12? Yep. Isaiah chapter 51 verse 12. I, even I, am he that comforteth you. Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die? So that scripture is telling you that the comforter is not a man. The comforter is the scriptures. Yep. Now you had men that were given the name Comfort or Comforter, which is Noah. The word Noah, Noah or Nawak is, a, is an omen Noah, a name sign. And he and that name means Comforter or Comfort. Okay, good. You got more? Uh, it says, of the Son of Man which shall be made as grass. I got one. This is our first Maccabee 12 and 9. Therefore we also, albeit, we need none of these things that we have the holy books of, of scripture in our hands to comfort us. So that's what comforts you, these books. So let's go back to St. John 14. Yep. This is John 14 and 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. So all things are being brought to our remembrance, right? Yep. Give me a... Um, Jude, uh, that's for one chapter long. Uh, give me uh, the second verse. Well, why doesn't Esau remember? Because it was never shown to him. Mm. He, was never, he was never part of it. He never had it. He never had it. Right. That's why they always question the validity of the Bible. Well, they question everything. They want some logical uh, explanation. Yeah, you know, they want some concrete, tangible oh, yeah. thing. Yeah. That's why when they read the book, they go to the Middle East, they go on the other side of the world and dig it up. Yeah. That means they don't believe, they, they don't believe, they don't have faith. They want to have evidence, you know? This is Jude by God. Right. Then, then the scriptures say, blessed is he that haven't seen him yet believe. So we're more blessed than them. Yeah, Esau is going up in the outer space to really try to see what elements are out there, man. You know? Because they're not a faith-based a faith people. people. Right. They're a logic, logical, tangible uh, based people. You got, hey, that's why, that's why a lot of these Edomites are the so-called edumacated. Let me use that word, edumacated. You crack and say educated, we say edumacated. What you, most of them that have these high degrees are mostly what? Atheists, man. Yeah. Because they believe in things that's logical, something right, that I can yeah. touch and feel. Right. Oh yeah, in the college they don't teach about the most high. In the college. Oh, they don't they teach about the most high. And then, and then, but the thing, is, the thing about this, when you go into the history of the universities, the universities were for what? For the study of the scriptures, man. Right, yeah. House of Scrolls. The, the original university, yeah, was for the study of, of the scriptures. Yeah. That's why the scriptures say. Uh, they said about Yahweh Shai. How have this? How does this man know letters? Have not learned? Right. He didn't go to the House of Scrolls at the average. Israelite went to it. It was just given to him of the most high. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Hey, because it's good to say that everything was given to him. He wasn't given it by measure. See, we have measures. Little here, you know. But Yahweh Shai had the fullness, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Apostle Paul was deep because yep. Yahweh Shai dealt with him. Directly, yeah. Yahweh Shai slept with him. You know? Go ahead. This is Jude 1 and 5. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, mm. how the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt. And that, that's the, def, de, the very definition of the word education, to draw out, draw out you know? 
their education means to remember. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it back. And when you suffer from amnesia, what what do people have to do? They have to they have to re-educate you. They have to bring out what's already inside of you. You know. Go ahead. Where we at? Having saved the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt. What people? Now you got vocab alone, so the people, that means Gentile, that means a mixed multitude. And there's a scripture that I was going through in the video that it said it was the mixed multitude that was getting Israel to want to go back to Egypt. Mm, right. Go ahead. Afterward destroyed them that believed not. Afterward destroyed them that believed not. So you had Israelites that did not believe. Go ahead. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he had preserved in everlasting chains under darkness. All of us. That's us, Esau, the other nations. We're all angels, higher, uh, higher level angels and lower level angels. The Israelites are higher level angels than the so-called, than, than the Edomites. Go ahead. He had preserved in everlasting chains under darkness. And what does everlasting chains mean? For a long period of time. It doesn't necessarily, necessarily mean forever and ever and ever, you know? It means for a long period of time. And it seems like you waiting for a bus. Bus don't come, right? It says, it seems like this bus is taking forever. That's a figure of, of speech, man. Yeah. So us being in this, in this country, going back to slavery, going back 200 years, that's like fucking forever, man. And we went out to Texas, it seemed like forever. That was... We were ready to get, we were ready to do some fisting cups, man. Yeah, <laughs> 60 hours, man. Uh, is that long? 30 going and 30 coming back. Oh yeah, well that's true, that's Dang. true. That's true, man. That's a lot of drugs. And that's why you had a lot of mutinies on ships. Yeah, yeah. You had yeah. a lot of mutinies on ships, man, because yeah. you stuck in there on them ships, man. You know, and them Edomites, they were popping them, them uh, they had their favorite sex toys. Those were sheep and goats. Mm. Man. I'm serious, brother. They, they, they didn't have women because it was considered bad luck to have a woman on the ship. So they had, the, the way they got their sex was by having it, they, they, they had their stuff, duffel bag, and they would have a sheep. I, I was, look it up, man. Don't look at me like that. Look it up. Don't look at me like I got two heads and three heads. Look it up. No, that's what they used to do, man. But Esau doesn't say that because he's really ashamed of it, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like I said, don't believe me, look it up. Look it up. Hey, well, that's why a lot of them came over here with diseases already. Oh, they brought, they brought diseases to them because they were popping shit. Yeah, yeah. And they were popping each other. Syphilis. Yeah. A lot of them had syphilis. What do you think themselves do, man? Yeah. When you're in the, hey, I'm in a, in a submarine at that museum, the Intrepid Museum, and I went into the submarine, and as soon as I went up in there, I said, anybody that goes goes in this fucking submarine and go in the water, they popping each other, man. Yeah, yeah. They popping each other, you know? But Esau don't want to say that. See, Esau says he protects homosexuals, but he doesn't want to come out and say he's a homosexual, yeah, right, you know? Right, right. He's too proud. He's too, he's a, he's a double-minded <coughs> demon, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. The laws on bestiality, too that you just can't penetrate them supposedly, but that is actually legal for you to be with your pet. It's fucking gross. Go ahead. This is uh, Job chapter 30 verse one. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Why is that? Because he would have tried to lay, he would have laid with the dogs. He would have laid with the dogs. We know Esau. Go ahead. Verse 2, it says, They, very two, by the strength of their hands profit me. They will aid to discourage me. For one of famine, they were solitary. Fleeing into the wilderness, in former time desolate and waste, to cut up mallows by the bushes, and to the roots for their meat. They were driven forth. Read a little louder, brother. Read a little with some spirit. Go ahead. John chapter 30, verse 5. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief. Who, who cried after them? We did. We said thief. You get the thief. That, and that goes back to Genesis 4. Go, somebody get that. They're a vagabond, man. And when you look up the word vagabond, the word vagabond means a traveler. Traveler, yeah. 
Two ball cane was a vagabond. Yeah. All right, this is where you is get the word transit from. Tra tra yeah, well, yeah, transit was a uh, um, able. Right. Yes. Because in uh, England they call the subway, they call it the tube. tube. Yeah, tube, yeah. The tube, get around by the yep. tube. Yep. Tube. Go ahead. This is, uh, this is Genesis 4 and 11. It says, and now art thou cursed tube. from the earth. You know what started the top? top. Let's, get in, let's get into that. We haven't covered that in a while. Go ahead. This is Genesis 4 and 1. And Adam knew he, his wife, and she conceived and bare came. I have gotten the man from the Lord. And she began, and she again bare his brother. Now Abel. the word uh, Cain is from the Hebrew word Quanine. Alright? And Quanine uh, means uh, it means a dagger. It, it means like a, 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 a something to, to dagger. Alright? It doesn't exactly mean dagger, but it's something it's like that they jerk you with and stab you, you know? So that's what this man was. So that was a, that was an omen nomen. Yeah. So Quanine or Cain means killer. You know, you had motherfucker's name Killer, dog's name Killer. Well, Esau's name was really like Killer. Yeah. Because he was gonna kill it, kill his brother. Go ahead. It says, verse two, it says, and she be and she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was Abel, Abel, the Hebrew word, help me out. Habal. Habal, Habal, which means transitory. Right. Because he was there for short time and he was gone. Why? Because his brother brother rose up and killed him. And, and that's how we know that that's Esau. Yeah. Because after he killed him, the Most High inquired about what happened to your brother and he said, I don't know who he is. is am I not my brother? Am I my brother's keeper? All right? So he was saying, that, that, that's none of my business, man. I'm, I'm not supposed to be watching over him. And, that, and Esau got the same spirit today, man. And that's yeah. how you know he killed him because he didn't say yes or no. Am I my brother's keeper? And that's what people say. You ask them a yes or no question, they'll beat around the bush. Oh yeah, he he, he filibusters, man. Yeah. Esau is known for filibusters, man. Yeah, that's good. why when you go to your law library, man, and we've been in a law library, man. One day I'll go in there and I'm gonna do a video on it. I'm gonna go into a law library and I'm gonna show you. It's not like the regular library down the street, right. <laughs> your, uh, high school or whatever. Man, that place is that law library. There's nothing but books upon books upon books upon books upon books. And they're all laws. And they're all laws. They keep adding to it. And you gotta you gotta spend a lifetime. Really, you can't you can't you can't um figure out all them laws. You can be the best lawyer in the world. You can you can uh, practice law for fifty years and not all, not know all the laws, man. Yeah. All right? Now the basic law of this country it's called the what? Do, do we remember? No, no, well, the Constitution, because everything is based upon, huh? Judicial? Huh? Judicial? No, no, no. Common um, law? Um, no, 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 no. Um, the uh, Juris the United States Code. Uh, oh, oh. Somebody USC. please look it up. United USC. States Code. USC. Y'all forgot. Y'all must have forgot. Y'all yeah, must have yeah, forgot. <laughs> USC. I was watching Carl Miller. United States. Oh, Carl. You know he died a couple years ago. Oh like yeah. Three years ago. Yeah. Okay. Somebody put in rest in peace. Carl Miller. And that 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 was put up three years ago. Yeah. Oh. I mean he was up. In, yeah. I, no, no, I got it. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Bring it on out. United States Code, the Code of Laws of the United States of America, variously abbreviated to Code of Laws of the United States. United States Code, U.S. Code is the official compilation and codification of the general and permanent federal statutes for the United States. Did y'all hear that? Yes. Read that again and read it loud. The Code of Laws of the United States of America is the official compilation and codification of the general and permanent federal statutes of the United States. So in other words, if you watch uh, the news and somebody's arrested and the, and the feds get that guy, they're gonna cite him under the United, and they'll put it up. And the and the and the, um, the United States Code is broken up into uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, subsection, section. Not subsection, but uh, articles. Articles. Mm. Right. Um, article. Is an article. Yeah, title article five. Uh, titles. Yeah. Titles. 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 It contains fifty-three titles. Fifty-three titles. Now, the criminal code is what? Title eighteen. Eighteen U.S.C or United States Code, then they'll give you the subsection. 
If they're gonna get you on dealing with uh, taxes, they're gonna pull out Title 26 of United States Code. IRS. All right. IRS. If, if you was in the military, you remember the military code? Was it Title Five? No, Title Ten. Ten. Military Code of Justice. And that's the pro that's the laws. All them other laws, you got citations, man. <laughs> So Esau got all these damn laws right. that they're gonna throw on you, and you better you better than been practice law mm. for for the next fifty years. You better have an uncle that specialize, and then you got lawyers that specialize in taxes. They don't know nothing yeah. about medical law, yeah. or criminal law. They just specialize in taxes. You and know? then you have you have court decisions. Yeah. Well, yeah, which is which is yeah, which is uh, which is uh, case law, yeah. which doesn't even exist in this country. Yeah, go ahead, Giovanni L. Saldana, the laws only apply to citizens. The laws only apply to citizens. Twelve tribes are not citizens. The elders making a straw man argument. Okay, well, let, let, okay, read that again. Read that again. Uh -huh. this guy must be a the laws only apply to citizens. Twelve tribes are not citizens. And you're right. You're right about that. But guess what? They're gonna take. They're gonna. They're gonna take. They're gonna bring those same laws on you. Right. If you don't know how to. Uh, navigate through the law right the first thing that you do is you 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 uh, challenge jurisdiction yep. and that's what Jake doesn't want to do right now if you said I'm a Hebrew Israelite okay well he said it was true what he said was true yeah but he, he doesn't understand you were you were explaining about yeah 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 exactly I'm explaining yeah. the law but guess what you if you're an Israelite they still gonna hold you under the law unless you know how to argue your way out of that damn law the first thing you do is argue jurisdiction you tell them first of all, I'm an Israelite. Right. And then, and then, and then, uh, give me the scripture where it says, "Make no covenant with the uh, Exodus There's 32, many, that, 23. That's one. 23, another 23. one. Another one is uh, Deuteronomy. Uh, what is that? Deuteronomy seven. Seven. Yeah. Make no covenant with them. He said, "Absolutely, Elder knows. Ain't no Johnny come lately." Oh, no, you, you don't get it, man. Look, we already know that. You don't need. We don't need to practice. He's getting all emotional. We don't need you to tell us that. We already know the 12 tribes is not citizens. The elder was explaining No, they are the citizens. Law. They are citizens because we made ourselves citizens. No, we are citizens. You know why? Because we bound in this man. Yep. Uh, give me that. Give me, give me, give me uh, uh, Jeremiah. What is that? Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Uh, also, give me uh, uh, Deuteronomy uh, uh, 28, uh, 47. Also, give me Deuteronomy 28, 68. Because we're bound into the laws, man. Because Jake doesn't know how to say, look, I, I don't recognize your jurisdiction. I'm a Hebrew Israelite of the tribe of Judah or the tribe of this, you know? Yeah, starting with the birth certificate. A bunch of look, contracts. you're bounded, brother. Yeah, yeah, unless you know how to get, navigate and use it, a right paperwork. Yeah. And even the Moors, the Moors say they can bring you out of that First of all, the Moors don't even know that they're Israelites, so they screwed any fucking way. You know, on the, you know, on the birth certificate at the very bottom, you know what it says? It says signature of informant. So, so the mother's informing the international bankers. Here's another product for you. Yeah. And the product is is is, is uh, and that links up with in the apocrypha where it says we were sold uh, Baruch, the fourth chapter. We were sold not for our destruction, but. We were it. sold into. We gotta know. get back yeah. into that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but Esau, man, he, you right. know, if you right. go, if you go up to, first of all, they don't, they don't, they don't deal with the Constitution. The Constitution was done away with, man. Right, right. What, what was, what was it? Uh, what was the goddamn case law? Oh, um, ah. it was a case law. Yeah, yeah. Back yeah, yeah. in, in uh, Madison. Not Mad Madison versus Marbury. Now we're getting into this law stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, what was the case? What's the case law? Um, uh, uh, damn. Erie Railroad? Air thank you, brother. <laughs> Erie Railroad versus Tompkins. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it coming back. And this guy sued Erie Railroad Company right. on constitutional grounds, but you know it was overturned, and the, and the case law was Swift versus Tyson. Mm. Swift, Swift versus Tyson. Yeah, yeah. So basically, and that was, I believe, in 38, if I'm not mistaken, 39. And that was a couple of years after they confiscated the gold. Because gold is based on the Constitution. The United States doesn't recognize gold, even though they mint gold coins. You got two cup, you got the corporate US, and then you got these United right. States. Yep. You know? And they, the, the Esau really did a real yep. slick job, man. Yeah. 
And that's why most people now are, are known as 14th, 14th Amendment citizens. All of them. If you're All a them. U.S. citizen, yep. so, somebody go to uh, Amendment uh, 13 and Amendment 14. Yep. Well, there's a court and we're still on. slaves. Yeah. How are we slaves? Contract. Giovanni, how are we slaves? <laughs> yeah, there's a court case. Uh, Through contract. Thank you. Van, Van Valkenburg versus Albert Brown. It's about the, yeah. It's about the Fourteenth Amendment, and uh, basically, um, uh, Val, Van Valkenburg was saying that that uh, uh, the Constitution doesn't apply to her because she's freeborn, but it applies to uh, you know Albert Brown. Okay. The, you know the, right, the, the, right. the, the uh, yeah yeah well, yeah case. Hey, so. Not Amendment 13. Okay, go ahead and read it. Amendment 13. We're going to read Amendment 13 and Amendment 14. Section 1. Ne so. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. Read it again. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime. That's all I want. It says neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except for punishment of crime, shall not exist in the United States. Right. Are we slaves? Yes. Yeah. How, how are we slaves? Contract. 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 Because what does this what is what does it say in that in that amendment? It's it shows you that, that we're slaves. Yeah. Where, whereof the party shall. Well, have read it from the top. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude. How are we slaves? Contract. What part of what part of that? Uh, uh, um, uh, amendment says that we're slaves. It says, um, neither slavery nor involuntary, nor involuntary servitude. servitude. Yeah. So, so can you volunteer to be a slave? Yep. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. When you join the military, yeah. you sign a seven-year contract, you a slave That's to the military, it. man. Yeah. For seven years. You have a nice diary. Sign the contract. And you apply oh, to the job. Oh, these federal People that had to work on furlough and they didn't get paid, they still had to come into work. Mm. They're making a big deal about it. In your contract, motherfucker. Mm. Yep. It says you that's part of your that's part of your contract. That's right. Sign the contract, big <laughs> boy. Sign that's the right. contract. <laughs> you when you read your contract, it tells you that. Yep. There's a law in New York City called the Taylor's Law, man. Yep. Where they say you can't strike. They'll lock your ass up. Mm. If you strike, man. Because you because you sign. When you go out to, hey, when you join the military, you got to sh shave your head, shave your beard. Yep. You got to get up when they tell you to get up, if they tell you to shut up. Now, if you jump up and say, well, look, uh, drill sergeant, I have a first amendment. Right, you know what he's going <laughs> to tell you? Not in the core, you don't. Yeah, yeah. You can give your heart to Jesus, but your ass belongs to the core. Mm. Why? Because you're a slave for seven yeah. years. Government man. issue. Contract. That, that's, right. that's right. Contract, that's right. Boy. That's right. GI, that's right. GI government issue. Government right. issue. Right. Government GI. They, they had a they had a toy called GI Joe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What was he a slave? GI Jose. A slave named Joe. Government <laughs> issue. <laughs> government issue. You you were just a piece of pop property, yep. and therefore you are what? <laughs> and you <laughs> and you and you're GI Joe. I'm, I'm gonna have to buy a GI Joe because that's what you niggas are. Nothing but GI Joe, man. The Kung Fu grip. <laughs> Let's go ahead, man. Let's come back to the scriptures. I, I, I got something real quick. All right, go ahead. This is Revelation 18 11. Oh, you got to read the 14th Amendment now. Read the 14th Amendment. It says, And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Verse 13. Uh oh, I know. Uh oh, go ahead. And cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. Mm. What? Slaves. You mean you got slaves in America? Yep. Slaves and souls of men. Souls yep. of men. That means they sold out. Yep. And you got a lot of that. You got a lot of it. A lot, whole lot. Yep. Right. Whole lot of that. Uh, Amendment 14. Section 1. All persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction. Hold up. What does it mean to be born in the United States? That you're, you're, you're manifested in the United States. Yeah. Your, your mother ha gives birth in the United States, right? And signs of birth certificate. And so. signs of, right. That makes you a citizen because you were born there. That's why they don't, Esau doesn't like it when yeah. they call them uh, anchor babies. When a Mexican woman come over oh. and they have a son or daughter, right. that son, you can, you can, you can um, deport the mother the and the mother, father, yeah. 
but you can't right. abort the son. Right. So they don't like that. They really want to change that law. Right, right. You're, all right. Because right? the, the son or the daughter was born in the in the she, states. Exactly. Yeah. Bruce Lee was born in San Francisco. Mm. So yeah. he was a US So when he went back, when his father went back to China, he what did he come back to San Francisco? Yeah, or based upon good. what? Based upon his status. Right, right. He was a U.S. citizen because he was born in San Francisco. That's right. You know. That's right. Pastor, I made a point on one of your videos last week about uh, bond men and bond women. On how this, these certificates and these oh yeah well what, what is a bond when you look at the word bond right, right, right. when you get locked up I'm pretty sure any of you have been in the system I've right. been in the system you had to get a bond you know how many goddamn contracts you got to sign mm. when you get that bond they even they even make you sign UCC contracts man mm -hmm. they make you sign about twenty different damn contracts <laughs> and you a bond under under the bondsman and under the court until you free and then when you free they, they tear up all that paper. They don't mean to throw it away. Yep. You're no longer under bond. <laughs> so we're under bond, Giovanni. And I guarantee you, you're under bond too. That's right. Anyway, um, did you read, read that again? Read, read 14 read Amendment? All, right. all persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject. What does to it mean to be naturalized? He said, yes, sir. What did he say? He said, he, he what did he say? Yes, sir. He's what? He said, yes, sir. About what? <laughs> under bond. That he's under bond? Yeah, I guess. So. Okay, well then you're a citizen. <clears throat> right. and you, was the Apostle Paul a citizen of Rome? Didn't he use it, that status to get his ass from getting killed? Yep. Yeah. Matter of fact, get that and hold that. That's, uh, what is that? Acts 22? Acts, Acts 21, I believe. 21? Yeah, 21. All persons born or naturalized. What does the word naturalized mean? Anybody? What does the word naturalized mean? Naturalized. What do you mean? You take on citizenship. How? Uh, You're right, but give me some more. Uh, How you naturalize? Either like born green, or naturalize. Born, uh, green card? Green, you take a you getting, that means, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. When you come into this country, you're, not, you're born in China, you, you come to America, right? As a child, you say, I want to become, well, your brother, citizen, yeah. right, you want to become a citizen. So they'll take you to the office and they'll make you read this. Wash, George Washington, the class, all that Man. bullshit, right? And then they'll they'll have an oath. It'll be Mexicans, East Indians, and they'll and they'll swear an oath yep. that they're under the Constitution, uh, uh, under uh, the United States Constitution. That means naturalized. So you can be an old man, not born in China, but come over here and apply to be a citizen, citizenship, and then you're naturalized. All right. Yeah, my old older brother did. You told me that years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, part of it is that you deny your country. Your your whole country. Right. Well. Right. That means you're expatriate from your country. Mm -hmm. Now let's say you no longer want to be a citizen of the United States. Which is the United States is the corporate United States. If you don't want to be a citizen of the United States, you have to you have to become an expatriate. That means you're no longer a citizen. Mm -hmm. And then you have dual citizenship. You got so-called Jews that are that might be born that might be born in the States, but they have citizenship in Israel under the laws of Israel and of the United States. That's that's dual citizenship. And sometimes their loyalty is for the first country. All right? This, we, we haven't gone through this in a while, man. Yeah, it's been a while. But anyway, let's go to uh, Jeremiah 30, verse 7. I believe it's in. Okay. Let's go ahead. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Uh oh, somebody said there's no there's no, no such thing as Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble, basically we in we in the beginning of Jacob's trouble. Yep. When all hell breaks loose. Go ahead. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, for he shall be saved out of it. So when are we gonna be saved? Out of the during the time of Jacob's trouble, when all hell breaks loose. Go ahead. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck. What kind of yoke is around us? It's a, a, a paper yoke. Right. We got a paper yoke on us. Right. You know? Go ahead. And yeah. we'll burst thy bonds. And, and we'll burst thy bonds. Mm. Yeah. Go to the, go to Google and put and put in the word bond. B O N D. Yeah, through this knowledge we burst the bonds. Right. Through this knowledge. Well the most I, we're still in the bonds. Yeah. 
Well, we're mentally we're not, right. but we're still I mean. under yeah. bonds. Yeah, physically we are. Mentally, we're gonna be the bonds are gonna be broken yeah. when the Most High deliver us. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Yahweh Shai is known as the Redeemer. He's the buying Redeemer, us back. He's buying us back. He's buying us back. Meaning that we were slaves. That's it. That's I got it. it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Isaiah ten and twenty seven, and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder mm. and his yoke from off thy neck. There's no physical yoke on us. Right. There's no burden on our shoulder. Right. We're not walking around like in hardcore slavery. Right. They'll say, pick up them barrels over there and put them over there. Yeah. Hey, you gotta, you gotta take, pick it up a damn yeah, barrel yeah, and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you putting it down, yeah. you getting another barrel, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nigga, break. Yeah. That was give actually you. easier than what we got now. <laughs> yeah, because you knew you knew you were enslaved. Yeah, yeah. That's why most jets will tell you that they're free. Oh, I could prove we're under bonds. The the term bureau, it goes back to burrow. Burrow, burrow. Uh, yep, yep. A burrow is a donkey. Yep, mm. yep. What's a donkey? A beast of burden. A beast of so burden. So the bureau is set up to be a beast of burden over us. And mm. guess what? These bureau. Edomites, and guess what? These Edomites that think they're better than you, guess yeah. what? They're in slavery too. Yeah, they're, they're they're under dummies. The bureau. They yeah. ain't slavery and they don't even know it. And they don't even know it. It says, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So the old yoke was taken off of us, bureau. but now we got an invisible yoke around us. Right. Yeah. So the mo so how are we gonna be redeemed out of this? When the most high uh de deliver us. That's right. Uh uh Deuteronomy uh 20, 28, 47. Got the definition of bond? Mm-hmm. Read it now. Bond in finance, a bond is an instrument of indebtedness. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 there you oh. go. It's, 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 the it's, servant, what is it? What is it? The, uh, indebtedness the, 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 of the, the bond. The, 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 the lender. The servant is borrow, uh, the borrower is servant to the lender. The borrower is a servant to the lender. So we have a debt on, on us. Yep. Each one of us owes what? As a U.S. citizen, owes about what? $70,000. That's why they have the debt clock downtown. I don't know if they still have it. You know why they put it up there? On the Avenue of Americas? That's where they put it, on the Avenue of Americas? Because they're telling you, this is part of your debt. That's part of your debt. So if you got that money, if you hit, if you hit the lotto, just go to the United States and say, I want to pay my debt, and I want to, you know? Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28, 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord now shall... Now the Most High gave you all these beautiful things. Give me Jeshurun Wax Fat. Uh, Jeshurun Wax Fat Kick. What is that? Uh, Deuteronomy 32. Deuteronomy 32, 15. But Jeshurun Wax Fat and Kick. For any of you guys out there, including you, Giovanni, what does Jeshurun mean? All you guys that don't want to study the Hebrew, <laughs> the Hebrew. Yep. I'm waiting. Where's the thunder? Tick tock, tick tock. I got a couple of scoffers coming in. What are they? What are they saying? Why don't they answer uh, the question? I, I, I just been getting rid of them. Oh, okay. But <laughs> yeah. well, anyway, Jeshuan. When you look up the word Jeshuan, is the Hebrew word Yashuan, which which loosely translated means the first. So we were the first of all the nations. That's right. Even even though we were the last nation to be set up and established, we up the Most High put us in. The, hey, the yeah. Most High made all the nations, right? Yep. Then He made Israel last, yep. and they came out of captivity. Then you know what He did? He said, "I'm gonna take this nation that I made the last right. nation, and we'll put them, we'll put them right in the front." The best. That's why the best. Mm. That's why they hate us, man. Uh, that the first old. shall be last. And the That's last why shall be Esau want to be us. That's right. Yep. What, what, what nation is like unto thy people, even Israel? Mm. That's it. Bring Probably that out. Go to scripture and bring it out. Um, what is that? Samuel, you know, Samuel, Samuel, bring it out a little Samuel, bit later. Samuel, right? Somebody else can bring it out. I want you to read your scripture. Deuteronomy 32, 15. But Jeshurun waxed fat and kicked. Thou art waxing fat, thou art grown thick. Thou art covered with fatness. Then the, then he forsook. What does that mean? That means you're doing good. Hey, when Jake, what does Jake do when they come in and big money? They flaunt it. Ain't that right, Kanan? They flaunt it, right? <laughs> he really ain't got no big money. Neither does pocket. <laughs> anyway, uh, when Floyd Mayweather started getting all the millions, and you know when Floyd Mayweather was like 19, 20 years old, he was already a millionaire. So when he was in his 30s, he said, I already know what it's like to be a millionaire. I was a millionaire since I was a kid, man. He was a child prodigy. 
he was living, he was, you know, he was living with some Edomites. Because his, his mom was all messed up and father was locked up. When he was when he was an amateur coming up, he was living under some Edomites that really took care of him, man. Yeah. And then he started coming into the millions, man. Now, when he started getting them 100 million, then 50 million, then 300 million, you know, what, what does he do? He, he goes on Instagram and shows you how much money he got. Right. Shows you all the cars he got. The guy got, the brother got so many goddamn cars, he don't even remember the cars that he got, man. Right. He might have 100 cars, top, top shelf cars, man. You know? Why? Because Jesseron whacked fat. Read again. Right. But Jesseron whacked That's in our nature. You can't help it. When Jake wins the lotto, when he comes into a whole lot of money, millions, yep. how fast does he go, go broke? He goes quick. broke quick. Why? Because Royalty. that's in their spirit. Royalty. That's in our spirit, man. We got to live a certain way. Go ahead. Certain lifestyle, baby. Yeah, like Isaac Hayes, back in the 70s, he got a gold Cadillac. And you know, by uh, 76, I was listening to it last night, by 76, he was broke. Wow. And they auctioned off all, all his stuff, well, that's including all. the golden Cadillac. Well, that, that's, how, that's, Jake. that's how Jake rolls, man. That's how Jake wrote. <laughs> and then why you think Floyd's still fighting? Because he want to keep, you know, that money's kind of dwindling and shit, man. Because didn't he say, this is my last fight, I'm not going to fight no more, my 49th fight, then he fought the 50th fight. Then he, then he did this whole around the world bullshit, he had his entourage. Now he's talking about coming out of retirement. Why? He ain't going to tell you that's money. It's money, man. Hey, when um, Ali came out of retirement to fight uh, uh, Larry Holmes, he got his ass whipped, and then he and then and then he wound up with a uh, Parkinson's disease. You know why? Because he needed the money. He needed the money, man. You know, even his wife's jewelry, he auctioned off. Or had they had? Oh, hey, well, 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 Jake, off. because Jake gets in the debt, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, I forgot how much the guy said he was in debt, but it was a lot of money. This, this now. Early the, the 70s. The bar is serving to the to the to the debt the debt. Yeah, yep. early seventies. Isaac Hayes was on top with Shaft yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And by seventy six, the guy's broke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Jake Jake lose their money in a, in a year. He can lose his money in six months. He can lose his money. All these dudes in the NBA that uh, retire with a hundred plus million dollars, and in two years they're dead broke. They're working at fucking Wendy's. Yeah, you know, cleaning bathrooms. Giovanni mentioned, uh, yeah, look at MC Hammer, same deal with him. Oh yeah, definitely. He's a, he's a perfect good, example good of experience. <laughs> good one. Well, what he was doing, what he was doing, he would buy a house on a hill, he would get, uh, the, the, the floor had to come from Italy, marble, from marble, marble floor, yeah, yeah. You know, this, that, and the other, yeah. you know? And then he was paying all his entourage. And he was paying all his entourage, and when he got broke, where his entourage go? They disappeared, man. Show you how a nigga is, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Haggai 1 and 6. Ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Yep. <laughs> and what is a bag? What is a bag? A pocket. 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 <laughs> yeah? Pocket. Not to mention the, the so-called money is being devalued by the second. So right. the buying power is, is, is well, you saw the video. Y'all saw the yeah, video dwindling. I did on silver, right? Yeah. yeah. Nobody yeah. saw it. Yeah. Gotta watch them videos, man. Yeah. I did a video on silver. You know. That's why they go broke. Because and I actually went yeah. into a silver exchange, and I actually had you saw it, right? Yep. Short right. video. Yeah. I had the camera. Yeah. Hey, the dude was nice, man. Hey, it was him and another dude. Looked like Edomites. It could be Jake. I talked to them. Them guys were like cool, man. They were cool as hell. So I said, it's all right. He said, yeah, yeah. I said, well, one day I'll do an uh, interview. He said, nah, no problem, no problem. And then the price that he gave me, that's why I said it was an excellent, excellent, excellent price. You know? Somebody got but not too many motherfuckers saw that video because they're not into that. So when when the, when the, the value of their money goes down, they don't know why. You, real money is silver and gold, man. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't. And we're not telling you to get silver and gold because that's going to deliver you. But when these prices start heading up, You'll be all right, man. Yeah, because it, it retains its value. It retains its value, Silver, man. Unlike, but Jack, but Jack don't be listening, man. Yeah. They like controversy. Like if we made a video with Kabar beating up an Edomite, Kabar brother, uh, Apostle Kabar loses it, beat, beats an Edomite <laughs> half to death. And you see the Edomite like that, man. That thing will get. Like that you. thing will get five million views, It'll man. Go viral. It'll go viral. It'll go viral. Because <laughs> that's what Negroes like. They like controversy. Yeah. yeah. 
I even Prince wrote a song, Controversy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jake doesn't want, want really want to. Hey, when we do them Hebrew videos, ain't nobody watching Hebrew nobody videos, man. So that's why you don't like to do them. It's too much thinking for me. It's too much thinking. You, a lot of Jakes, man. Y'all need to come out, out of that fucking shell, man. Yep. You know? Yeah, you got to exercise your brain. You know, that's part of exercising. You know, you give your brain tasks to do. And a lot of people that, that you know, some, some people that go like amnesia and all that, they don't do anything. They just eat, drink. And, well, you know? mostly women do that. Yeah, Women yeah. do that. They'll yep. sit around. Or when you, uh, guys that get retired, right? right? They wind up going to the hospital and they might die. I know a guy. I told him, I said, when you retire, you better keep moving because you're going to die. You're going to die in six months or a year. Guess what? He retired. Six months later, the dude dropped dead. Because he didn't do nothing. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you got to You got to keep it. moving, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, do a little physical work for your body, but you got to Or work on the job, man. The mo one of the most beautiful things yeah. to do is to work on the job. Fine. You know, create your own job that you work, work yeah. on, man. You know, exercise the brain. That's right. Go uh, ahead. Deuteronomy 32.15. But Jeshua waxed fat and kicked. Thou art waxed and fat, thou art grown thick. Thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook the Most High, which made him... Hold up. When did he do it? After, After he, he waxed, waxed fat and kicked. Kick, yeah. He said, then he did what? And then he forsook the Most then High. Then he forsook the Most High. Which made him. Which made him. And lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. And lightly, the rock is Yahweh Shai. You know, that, that was a... That, your house shy, yeah, I'll get to him when I get to him, man. Alright? Now let's go, let's go, let's go to uh what I say, Deuteronomy uh 2847. Alright, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 47. It says, Because thou servest not the Lord thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, for the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, until he have destroyed thee. Right, and that's what he did. Yep. Go ahead, read on. It says, The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce continents, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. And they shall eat the fruit of thy cattle, and the fruit of thy land, until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil. Now what is that talking about? Roman Empire. Roman Empire. How do we know it's talking about the Roman Empire, not America? Uh, because in America we didn't have our own thing, we were slaves. We're talking about in Rome. Especially during the, during the time when they put heavy taxes. All right. Yeah, so there's so many revolts. Going That's on why there were so many re revolts. Yeah? yeah. Go ahead. It says, and shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil, or the increase of thy kind, or flocks of thy sheep, until he have destroyed thee. Go ahead. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates until the high, thy high and fence walls come down, wherein thou trustest throughout all thy land. Hey, okay. we had a wall, right? Trump want to build a wall. Guess what? That his wall is going. If he builds that wall, is going to come down. The land of all wars. I say again. The, 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 the land of all wars. Unwalled village. villages. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land, which the Lord thy power has given thee. It says, and thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own Pop body, for me. Pop it. and flesh that of thy uh, sons uh, and of thy daughters, which the Lord thy power has given thee in the siege and in the straightness where with thine enemies so what is that talking about right now 70 a.d yep how do you know if you can't understand anything about that scripture um it, it, it says siege yep and then uh it said that you shall eat your children and that happened during the siege yep. because yeah, what did these cruel de devils do, do they didn't let anybody come out or anybody come in they, right. they let anything come out and anything come in right. so they were eating the, the leaves off the trees they were eating the grass they right. were eating their, their, their leather leather girdles right. and that's what Esau did because he's a hateful man yeah uh, 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 what is that uh, uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel 35 Ezekiel 35 and 5 go ahead Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 5 because thou has had perpetual hatred 
and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of the calamity, in the time that the iniquity had an end. Right. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Now start from the top. Okay. Start from the top. Ezekiel 35, verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. And I that Mount Seir represent Esau. And that, and now Esau, this so-called white man will never admit that he's an Edomite. You got a couple of them on, on YouTube admitting that they're Edomites. But some of them that are admitting that they're Edomites are really Israelites that look like Edomites. Right, I believe You know? That. Some of them guys that say, well, I'm an Edomite, I know I'm going to slavery. Right. Them guys are coming sincere. Yeah. So they might they might be Israelites, man. Yeah, because Esau's proud. Esau ain't going to admit that. He ain't going to admit that, man. And some of the same thing with some of them Edomite, Edomite looking people that come and bow down and kiss brothers' feet. A lot, yeah. a lot of them are Israelites. A lot of them are Israelites. Because yeah. Esau ain't going to do that. Yeah. Esau's too proud. Yeah. Too proud, yeah. That's it. Where we at? Verse 4. Uh, it says, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate. And, thou shalt and, when, be and when did that happen? Huh? It's, it didn't happen. It's getting ready to happen. Look, the most high haven't forgot who you are. Yep. You might have forgot. <laughs> You, you may forget, forget, but the most I ain't forget. Okay. You might have forget. Just because you don't admit that you're an Edomite, and you don't understand what's an Edomite, you're an Edomite. Yeah. But what if some did not believe? Nope. Oh, uh, the Apostle Paul said, known unto the most I are all his works. Ooh. So he know he knows who the, the, the Edomite is, who Edomite is. Yeah, so you can't you can't you can't fool him. You can't uh right. you know, you can't jump out of your skin no more. You can't jump out of your skin. You can't right. say Oh, I'm a white man, I'm a <laughs> Caucasian. No, you're an Edomite. And that's something, and that's something that, that they lose sleep over. The fact that they're Edomites. Yeah, I think it was Elder Malcolm when he brought it out around 1691. They started calling themselves white people. Mm. So, you know. Yeah, no, they're Edomites. Yeah, there's they're no Edomites. such thing as white people. There's no such thing as black people. Those are all names that, that the elites, the wicked elites put on on our people. Oh, that's that covering cast. Mm. Part of that covering cast that the Lord said he would destroy. Isaiah 25 mm. and 7. Mm. Right. And how is he going to destroy it? Through this knowledge. Yeah. Right? Through this truth. Right. And, and that's, that's why these Edomites got us on the news. And that was a despicable thing the black Israelites said. Uh, they were using and they even showed that they have, had some sound bites. You faggot, you this, you devil, you cracker. You know? Oh, and then the dude, Chief Ephraim, he said that, uh, he, did, he said that, that uh, uh, Donald Trump is a faggot. Well, you can't be saying things like that because there's no proof that he is a faggot, man. Yeah. There's no proof of that. You got to stick with the scriptures, man. Yeah. yeah. You got to stick with the scriptures. Stay spiritual. That's it. Go ahead. Where we at? Come in the middle of the night and bring him to Guantanamo Bay. He'll probably change his too. <laughs> Three, four in the morning, they kick down the door. Donald Trump's a faggot, huh? <laughs> Bring him over to Guantanamo Bay. It'll turn it will turn changes too. This is back in Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 4. Thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh. <coughs> so the whole world's gonna know who the, who the <coughs> Lord is. Yahweh by Shem Yahushai because his name. Huh. And the son's name is going to be pro proclaimed throughout the earth. That's right. You know? And everybody's going to know who the one true power is, man. That's right. Okay? Go ahead. It says, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood. Yeah, this devil always tell, tell, no, I'm not racist. I love black people, you know? No, you don't love black people. You hate, you hate us. When I say black, I'm talking about Israelites. Go ahead. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. There yeah, it goes. And I've shed. Now, 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 when you go to the back to the first verse, it speaks about Mount Seir. How can Mount Seir? How can the mountain kill Israelites? Right. Does, does Mount Seir represent you Edomites, man? Right. The government. The, go the government. The government. The government. 
start with your top elite. Start 